what's going on y'all this is Rashad from RashadBeast.com welcome back to another vlog um forgive me my voice is kind of hoarse just been getting away hanging out with friends or whatever and we was at a party and stuff so you know my voice is kind of hoarse I'm over here screaming over the music say like ah you know but um aside from that um before we get started on this video I just want to thank everybody for supporting my last vlog which was um did the, 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 you know, the How to Sell Beats Online jump with Designer and the Panda Beat. I um, just want to thank everybody for supporting that and uh, getting a lot of love from the producer, uh, the producer community. So, just want to shout out each and every one of y'all for liking and commenting and subscribing. I appreciate y'all so much. That means a lot to me. Now that we got that out the way, let's talk about today's topic. Today's topic is back to my producers again. Can you resell an exclusive beat? What I first want to start off by saying is exclusives are very important for the producer and the artist because there is a lot of rights that are that are pretty much given to to the artist and there's a lot of rights that are also retained by the producer there's a lot of shit that that the producers don't understand what they have and same thing for the artist most of the artists just think you know they can just sell the shit left and right and they can but you know what i'm saying most of them don't read the contracts just like the producers so for exclusive beats um you want to know for exclusive beats you want to know exactly what you're giving up like are you giving up um publishing uh what are you, what are you giving up you got to read your contracts most of y'all just go online and find these contract templates read it don't understand it and you know when you sell the fucking beat the dude might blow up with your shit and because of the previous paperwork you're not gonna get no damn you're not gonna get no uh no royalties off it if if it if it goes worldwide because you don't have anything set in place in paper and in contract saying that yo I need at least four percent of uh whole wholesale or I need four percent of retail or if it's wholesale I need eight percent because they double if it's wholesale they it doubles. But that's a whole nother story. Uh, I'll I'll cover that in a whole nother video yeah so for my producers because i and I also had a lot of people hit me up about the exclusives like what should what they should do about exclusives asking me if i sell it i can't sell it to nobody else yes you cannot sell uh yes you cannot sell an exclusive to nobody else if you already sold it to a, uh, a client however what you can do is you can put in your contract saying giving it and giving it ex an expiry pretty much saying if the artist doesn't release this within the amount of one year, 16 months, two years, then the license will be revoked. You can pretty much take the beat right back and the artist who bought the exclusive no longer has access to that license. That's what you can do. So yes, you can resell exclusives. However, you want to be completely sure of what you're saying in your contract. Do not, do not resell an exclusive that you sold to a client and they already have a song out for it. Don't do that. That's bad business, and you should be a fucking shame to yourself if you even think about doing that. Even if you ever think about reselling fucking exclusive, uh, exclusive uh, rights to the beat, or exclusive license to the uh, to the beat to somebody else that, and you know, you already have a client who bought it and he has a song out. You should be ashamed of yourself. Producers need to understand, yo, that exclusives are probably the most important because that's where the money's gonna come from. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not talking about the fucking 400 advance, the $400 advance or the $1,000 advance. Just as I said in my last video, I'm talking about the points. If he's putting that shit on the album, you're gonna wanna be in contract for you to receive royalties on that end. So you can receive 4% of his artist, of the artist royalty rate. You know what I'm saying? Industry standard royalty rate for our artists is 12%. And we're supposed to get paid off of that 12%. The highest we can get is 7%. Depending on our level and depending on our negotiation skills is what determines whether we get 5, 4, 3, 2, or 1, or 7. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying on exclusive beats. Also, another thing. Producers, you need need to read y'all fucking contracts, man. Y'all need to do some research. Don't look at me and my bro K Felon or uh, the rest of the peak the industry guys as just the only guys who know it. You know what I'm saying? Yes, we're the only ones who are bringing this information vital to y'all, but... We want y'all to go out and actually talk to the lawyers and actually, you know, read and do some information like we did. You know what I'm saying? We got a couple of books and, you know, we started reading and started digging deeper to figure out how we're supposed to get paid. Because we were just like, you know, the producers who didn't know what to do if their songs blew up. Or we were just like the producers who sold exclusives 
and was just content with four hundred dollars. I don't give a fuck about selling beats like that no more. Like I still sell them, and I have a, a wonderful client base. Shout out to all my clients and my customers who buy my beats. I love each and every one of y'all. Y'all the reason why I still do this today. Um, but I don't care about it because I'm on a bigger and better. And I still have love for the music, but you gotta also understand that I'm not even looking forward to getting a thirty dollar a thirty dollar check or thirty dollar sale. Like that's cool with me. A thirty dollar lease is cool. I love going to PayPal Blink, but I'm looking forward to more opportunities to actually build with with artists, you know what I mean? And to actually get more out of you know, get way more out of that than money. Placements on albums and get money that way. Getting real, real money. Money that'll never stop. Money that'll always keep coming in. Not no damn five hundred dollar advance, you know what I'm saying? Cause you blow that five hundred, cool. What now? You know what I'm saying? You have no you already sold that beat, so you can't you can't try to say, nah, I can I can sell it again when you already have it in paper under your name that you can't, you know, you're not supposed to resell the beat. And same as the licensee, he's not supposed to resell the beat because it's his and it is only. What I'm saying is, yes, you can resell exclusive beats, but to my producers, <clears throat> please add a add a stipulation in your contract saying just give it, just give the artist the time limit in the stipulation stating if such and such does not release composition by two years prior or purchase, um, license is revoked, license is at forfeit. So pretty much you can revoke the license and you know, the dude will have to buy it again if he wants to use it. And that's business. That's not us being petty to the artist. We love the artist, you know what I'm saying? But we have to also be reasonable because some of y'all be sitting on exclusives. Back in my early days, I sold exclusives and I never heard a final song. I never heard a composition with them. Now, and because of my old contract, I can't say, fuck it, I'm gonna sell it again. It's already, it's already sold to the dude. So, you know what I mean? And I can't do shit about it. That's cool. I don't really care about it. But now I know better. So, to all my producers and my artists out there, please do y'all research on y'all publishing. Please do y'all research on y'all uh, rights. Just do research, man. Fuck what I'm about to say. I'm I'm tired. This is like like 12 o'clock in the morning. But um, just, just do research. Do research. Because, trust me, I'm still learning this shit myself. So, don't don't look at us. Don't look at Peep the Industry or Kate Felon or Rashad B. It's the... The motherfuckers who get it right all the time, as my bro said in the last video, uh, shout out to my bro K. Um, we gonna get wrong because, you know, we learn it right with y'all, you know what I mean? But we're gonna bring this shit to y'all to the forefront no matter what so we can spread this knowledge. That's all we're doing. So that's all I gotta say, man. Rashad Beats is out, man. Thank you for tuning in. If you like this, please leave a comment. If you have any questions, hit my email. You know where to find me. Subscribe if you haven't already. I appreciate it. And also, before you go, I have a product that I would like to bring to your attention. I have a new product out called How to Turn Setbacks into Triumphs. It is an ebook that I created that will teach you how to sell and teach you how to build business from, from your home. If you are interested in building a business and interested in getting started with a business that you had in your mind, you can go ahead and get my book for $20. In chapters, 11,000 words and 35 pages worth of gold on business. Shaw Beats out. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.